play the rifle. Loot 15 if you gon' quote the Bible. When police out here being homicidal, we just make the movement even more than vital. Gotta take this fight up to the fucking White House. When you sign like that, don't mean you undecided. You just see the violence and you all about it. That's all we already know. They don't wanna see the raw truth. Wonder why we in a poor mood. Hands up and they still shoot. What do we do to deserve this abuse? We getting killed by them boys in the blue. Why can't we simply be Welcome to the most electrified channel in all entertainment. It's your boy PK. Welcome back, guys. Man, we had a fire show yesterday, and we cannot wait to get into it. Let me introduce our panel here. We got Cooper, our main man, Cooper, our graphic designer. How you doing, brother? Welcome back. I'm doing pretty good, man. How about yourself? I'm hanging in there. What about you, Mr. Jay Sean, the ancient ninja of the East and the West? I'm, I'm, I'm good, man. I'm good digging the East and the West right now. Um, <laughs> feeling good. We had, we had some good action last night. Most, yes, most yes. of it, I would say, went, to, went according to plan. But yes, yes. So uh, very surprised. Yes, yes. I, I actually, I actually, had, I did enjoy the show a lot, and I cannot wait to hear you guys take on it. So let's just get right into it and see if our uh, predictions came true for the main card. Predictions came true for the main card. All right, so let's let's go down the list here, and let's go down. Let's start. Let's start with the fly, the flyway. Start with the fly. Wait, 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 wait. PK, let me let me can we before we get into the main card, can we discuss the the red one? Uh, can we discuss the, the, no, I'm sorry. The um, yeah, the red one is and the silver fight. Can we yeah, discuss that? Absolutely. Absolutely. Can we yeah, discuss that? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Um, what's what's your take on that, Jay? Was how do you feel about that fight? Uh, it was one of a couple that I do not agree with. It was one of a couple. I think um, I think this one, the Eubanks fight, and um, uh, I'm trying to remember what the other one uh, did not go. I don't know. I think I think it got scored horribly. I think it got. But um, I don't know. That's that's my that's my opinion. I think uh, the Silva did enough uh, to win, but um, to win, I don't know. No, you don't. Okay, so you think he should have got it? No, you don't think I think he should have got it. Uh, I, I mean, I, I feel like I, I kind of disagree with that. I, I, mean, I, I kind of disagree with that. I feel like, I feel like the Silva came in in the first round, and I think he, I like you know, did enough to to edge that round. You know, but from two and three, I believe he, I don't know if he felt like he kind of backed off a little bit. I don't know if he felt. Yeah, I, mean, I will agree. I'll agree with that. It, it, I, I seen. I mean, it was a lot of decisions in this in this event. First of all, so, and I think it's it's kind of, and I think, I think they all suffered from the same thing. It's like a lot of, like first round chaos, like, but then the second and third is like, I don't know if you got tired. I don't. I'm not sure, but I don't know if you got tired. Yeah, I, I think uh, personally, I think that was a good fight. In my opinion, that was one of the best fights of the night. Um, yeah. Like I said, the first round was amazing. Second round came in, and Riddle just pretty much he went on a rampage. So yeah, that was, yeah. I will, I will agree. I mean, the Silva's intensity did level off after like the second round. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I do so. think I do think he's uh, I think he's someone to to pay attention to though. Both both of them are some. You know, two two fighters to pay attention to. I would like to see them fight again. Um, I agree. I totally agree. Um, how do you feel about the? Um, how do you feel about the, uh, the the knight and Kamer? I think his name is. Oh, who William Knight? Yes, yes, William Knight. Yeah, I mean, I called him uh, yesterday when we were talking about. Him. I told you that, like he, I think he was going to be hungrier. For that, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. and I think I think it, you know that's exactly what happens. Like uh, oh exactly Alexa, he he just could not, he couldn't get over the hump there to convincingly, you know, finish finish him. Yeah, and um, you know William Knight, he's durable, man. He's he's a big boy. So oh yeah, he's, he is. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's a big dude and, and to to go you know full out in the rounds like he does man it's like i mean he's that takes that takes a lot out of you and he he did it you know so um i'm happy for him yeah i'm, I'm glad he got that win as well um and you don't uh, see a scarf hold often by the way say i'm sorry say it again i said you you don't um uh, oh i'm sorry i was i was thinking about uh another uh the fight before, I was going to say you don't see a scarf hold often, but that was with uh, Jeff oh. Hughes. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, as far as Knight goes, though, like I'm gonna be honest, like I didn't really know much about Knight going into this fight, but yeah. after seeing that, I think this is what his. Uh, I'm not sure how. How many fights he have coming in but he was um, like nine i think he was like nine and one coming in okay i think yeah so he's you know he's been around for but he's he's almost like a i don't know I, I like to joke around sometimes and call him like a for real Derek lewis you know okay okay you know, that, like, i can see that you know it's like Derek lewis comes in and he he looks like a beast i mean he is the black beast but it's like yeah He's he's very one dimensional, and you know he's kind of a con man. Like he he plays head games and you know make you think he's tired or mm -hmm. he's about to give up. But William Knight is, I mean, he's he's for real. Like the whole fight, Kamer got saved <laughs> those first two rounds. Yeah, those he first did. two rounds really like uh, the bell. The bell oh, definitely yeah. saved him twice, yeah. two times. <laughs> yeah. I just so, think he was um, expecting that. Some of the audience was saying something about the audio, so I was just checking to see how it sounds, everyone. It sounds like there's a tiny little jet about to take off. Is that coming from my mic? I can't tell. I don't hear you, baby. Baby jet. Uh, maybe it's me. Hold on. Uh, I can still hear. It. Hold it on, let me like a, let me tell me if you still hear it. If, yeah, it's not like a teapot. Hold on, it's, I'm gonna mute my mic and tell me if you still hear it. Yeah, it's just chirping. All right, let me let me mute mine and see. And it's gone. <laughs> All right, we found the winner in that one. <laughs> you said it sounds like a what? Like a teapot. It's a little whistling sounds like sound. A tiny little teapot. It could be the. Uh, sounds like honestly, a... it might be the Xbox. The uh, oh. the brick. <laughs> Let me see. Let me. I'm gonna turn the Xbox on. Sounds like a flea going Super Saiyan. <laughs> I think it's just a uh, whistle coming from your mic. Whistle while you work. You got something on your mic, maybe like a boom or something, like cover on the mic? No, I'm using a headset. Oh. No worries. Well, let's get it on, guys. We'll, we'll, we'll rock through it. Okay. So you guys want to continue with the prelims? It's all good. Diego Sanchez, let's talk about. Mm, that's that's who we that. was we was rooting for. Yeah, I mean, we were, we, there's a, there's a couple of fighters in here that we were like, oh, I mean, he's got it, he's got it. Diego Sanchez got like, he, I mean, he got manhandled, man. Well, it was a decision, right? Was it third round? Yeah, but it wasn't close. Yeah, he he got 
destroyed the entire fight. Yeah. It was just it's, complete ownage. Yeah. So, it, and I don't know, I, I feel like that's kind of like the theme of the night with some of these other fights because there's a, there's a couple other fights where, you know, I consider them like lock-ins and they, didn't, they just did not go that way, except for one. And we'll talk about that one later. Okay. But, um... So, what about that Shane Young? What about that Shane Young? Yeah, I mean, Shane Young was... I mean... He got... He went to sleep early. He went to sleep. That's what (laughs) happens when you try to eat someone's foot. And I mean... (laughs) You know, he... He he just... He didn't even see it coming, man. The combo on that. It's like... He didn't even see it coming. But and, And that's what makes this sport so great. It's like... Like we said the other day, it's like anything can happen anytime, at any moment. And uh, that's exactly what happened. I mean, he ate a foot. <laughs> yeah. So so did you catch uh, San Trash try to, hit, try to hit the Mazda doll? He had the hands behind the back and tried yeah. to hit the running knee. I was like, <laughs> it's like, like, you are way too old, sir. You need to relax. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Like that's gonna be great on the air on the AARP brochure. But, <laughs> I mean, you know, well, you did go there. He's, he's past the prime, man. And this dude just showed him, man. He he showed him like, you know, man, they're not tickets. Yeah, he he could not get off. It was it was a slaughter. He was almost out the first round with that um, that, that straight yeah. on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's so funny though. Like I said, it's just that was that was that was a lock-in for me. Like if if you were to ask me, I don't know. I mean, two weeks ago, this was a different fight with him and just about anyone else in that in that range. I'll say I still would have put money on on Sanchez, but he just he got owned, man. Got owned. Sound almost like you're disappointed, bro. It is disappointing. It is. I mean, because he's he's got a history, man. He's got a history. He's a good guy, and he's a good he was a good fighter. And he just it's sad to see him go like that. You know, it's like when Kamaru Usman like absolutely owned Tyron Woodley. It's like Woodley's my boy, oh, but it's man. Like, all you could do is just sit there like. Fans, right? I don't know what's going on. I'm, I'm the blue boy right now. Like, stop getting hit in the face. <clears throat> yeah. Like, it's I, I got I got a lot to say about that. I guess we'll save that for another day. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Nah, not at all, bro. This is this your show. Go ahead. I mean, I mean, he wasn't on the card or anything, but uh, Woodley, man. I don't. Is he done? Do you think he's done? I don't I don't think he's done, but I think he's got something mentally right now. I, I, exactly. I think there's something going on in the background that people don't know about right. or people mm-hmm. aren't privy to. Because if you know, Woodley's one of the most hated fighters, man, by by I mean the large population of idiotic fans in the Uf- UFC. Mm-hmm. For no reason. For no reason. I mean this the dude's been solid. I mean, I remember when he first destroyed Robbie Lawler. I, w- I, I stood up on my table, man. I was going crazy. Um, like Woodley is—he's a just fair fighter, and he's a durable guy. He's badass. I seriously do think that there there's something going on because after even even when he fought Kamara Usman, it's like. Usman was a weird matchup for him because he had this like weird animalistic like like disposition where he was like coming in super low like he was going to dive you know like he was going to double leg him but he was like staying high enough to where he could like catch him up with an overhand it, it, it was just really confusing and it's like I feel like he took he, he took took something from Woodley took, and then after that Woodley just hasn't been the same Woodley, and then after and um, I mean, I, I love the man to death, but I mean, I love the man. I don't, I don't know but, what's going on. But do you th- okay? So do you think that uh, 
I think he's going to be back. Think, do you think Usman took that away from him, or do you think he was like that coming into that fight? I think he, you know, and that's a great question. I 100% believe he was like that coming into the fight because if you look at every fight since then, he's been the exact same way. Exactly. He's There's been, something going on that we don't know about. Yeah. Is either something mentally as far as like, I don't want to put put no bad juju on him, but yeah, I, there has to be something mentally going on, like some type of yeah. blockage, something, something wrong. Right, yeah. or there could be something in his life that's going on that the, I that think the fans don't know about. That's what I'm saying. I think it's something that's going on in his life, and you know, um, you know that happens. Well, I, mean, I, 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 mean, I, mean, I would say this: after every see, fight, he chance. actually had an excuse for chance. the reason why. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't. I didn't hear what his what his excuse was this time because, like, you can't really after the Kobe the Kobe fight. You can't really make like you said it all. Like the first time yeah. I think with Usman, it was the music, right? And then the uh, uh, the the second time it was I think the, uh, the the show or something like that. Like it was always something. It's like yeah, this time it's like you yeah. can't really say much. It's like yo, you you didn't get help. Use like something is wrong. Never use it real. Whatever. I feel like he thing. is no, still one of the greatest. As long as it doesn't show right? your real name, he definitely is. Really like, aggravating. If if he can get whatever you can get this money, if you're gonna chat with any of my chats, yeah. I mean, I think I really do think he could return to form. I mean, he's only 38, and everyone's like, "Oh, that's old." And I would say no, 38 is not. 38 is still he can still be a beast, and um, right. and you know, I, I hope he makes it back. I mean, because uh, Gilbert completely manhandled him, uh, right. Usman completely manhandled him. Kobe Covington didn't manhandle him, but I mean, he whooped his ass, you know? Um, I, 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 but I, 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 no, I mean, hear me out, man. Co- Kobe Covington, I can't stand him. I can't stand him. There's only a few fighters who I hate, and I mean, he's one of them. But <laughs> point wise, he won the fight, point wise. Oh, most definitely. If, if if uh, Woodley got that monkey off his back, you know, uh, he would destroy Covington. Mm-hmm. I, I don't I don't doubt that at all. I feel like it's, it's very comparable to when uh, Darren Till fought him. You know, Darren Till kept running his mouth, running his mouth, just like Kobe Covington. And what happened to Darren Till? He got just absolutely demolished in the ring with Woodley, and. That was the last fight that he had like that. After that, when he fought out this minute, he just wasn't the same. So right, and there's there's no sugarcoat in Kobe. Kobe, I I always say this. I hate the fact that he's actually a good fighter. Yeah, right. He's a, he's a really good fighter. I hate like most most of the time you see people like that and they're they're trash. You know what I mean? You talk a lot of stuff and you can't back it up. Kobe can actually back it up. I I hate that, but it is what it is. I mean, the only reason he lasted as long as he did against uh, Kamara Usman is because he obviously broke his hand, you know? Right. And um, he clearly injured himself, like, early in the fight, or else he would have been destroyed, I think, a lot sooner. But um, but still, you know, um, yeah, he's a good fighter. Willie didn't deserve to lose that, but I mean, he did deserve to lose it, but uh, I, I think if he can get whatever is... Uh, in, a, you know. in a perfect world, he could have went in a different direction. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So let's uh, wrap... Let's, let me pull y'all back in and let's get back to the, to the main card if you guys... <laughs> um, yeah. I, hey, look! I love the banter and I love going back and forth, but I, I know our viewers want to hear about what, our thoughts on the fight last night. So mm-hmm. let's get our work done, and we could definitely go back and play. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, so uh, let's let's. I tell you what, let's start with the featherweight, Mr. Okay. Hakeem. Mr. Hakeem, who had Hakeem yesterday? Uh, I think that was the fight that we were talking about. How like. We didn't really know these two fighters, so yeah. 
So the one a, that, so one. <laughs> had the most one had the most tattoos. Yeah. Had the most tattoos. Yeah. You know, so um tattoo rule. Tattoo yeah. rule did fail. <laughs> uh, you put that out there. Like I said, it's not a hundred percent, but it's a strong eighty four percent. You know. Uh but in this case, I mean uh Hakeem beat the shit out of him. And, he did. Uh, and I loved how vocal he was about it too. It's oh like, man! Oh, he was on fire. <laughs> I mean, that, that's that was pretty dope. I mean, he was getting to the point where the ref, had to, the ref yeah. had to calm him down. Like, yo, <laughs> man, relax. Yo, did you see the part he covered his mouth because he's about to go in? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He was about to go yeah. in and mess his whole thing up because he, he covered his mouth like, "Oops, I better not say nothing." <laughs> I'm telling you, he was cracking me up with that, man. It's like. <laughs> I like to imagine the rest being in there like, yo man, yo man, please, delay me. <laughs> and then like, he probably took three steps back and was like, laughing his ass off. I mean, and the funny thing is that like, since there's no crowd, you can hear everything. And, you know, I, I don't know, I, I kind of like the whole no crowd thing. You do? From, uh, I do, I really like the no crowd thing. And he did. Even Izzy last night was talking about it. He's like, it, yeah, that's pretty cool because normally he's like, you're walking out and you gotta hear like, you know, all these drunk people yelling like the most obnoxious shit. <laughs> anyway, he was getting on. booed the last his last fight. But Romero, oh, yeah. Oh, the crowd yeah. was giving it to him. Oh, they were totally giving it to him, man, but they weren't booing him this time. <laughs> but uh, but no, sorry, Hakeem. Yeah, Hakeem's a beast, man. He, uh, he put it down. He put it down. Well, that's yeah, good. I don't, I don't know. That's guess, good. Uh, we get to know. Are you saying his name? Uh, is it Tushikov? Or, I'm, or, uh, I'm not sure. You know, he, he had he had Khabib in his corner. Yeah. I think he wanted to wrestle, man, but Dwight wasn't having it. No man, it's like you can be the best wrestler in the world. You still gotta get your hands on. Like, mm. yep. Oh, I can't yeah. wait till we get to the main car. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the main event. <laughs> you could, you could be, you could be, the, you know, the best ground person in the world. You still gotta get past getting, you know, punched in the face. Right. You know? Exactly. You know, Damian so, Maya, an incredible grappler, but I mean. You don't move that head, you're gonna get popped. You know, so that's all factual. What was you gonna say there, Puka? No, I was gonna say um, uh, this. This was another fight that, just like earlier, I just feel like you started out so well, Tukagov or however you say his name. He started out so well, and then just mm-hmm. slowed down towards the, the second and the third. Third came and he just didn't want to fight no more. I don't know if it was him, him tired or he just felt like his game was, you know, hit a 180. I don't, I have no idea, but you know, it's it, it was a lot of fights like this. Let's put it that way. This tonight. Yeah, and it was. I don't know. It's funny too because it's like if you look at the scores, like the judges on the first round, um, I think it was like 10-10, right? Mm-hmm. It was like it was even, and then well, I, I gave that to Duato. Yeah, I gave it to Duato. It was close though. It was very close. It was very close, and then they gave the second round to um, to the uh, to the other guy, right. to Zabara. Mm-hmm. And the last one, you know, they said it was Duato, and it was true because, like, like you said, a third round, man, it's like it, it, he broke his will, man, which is weird coming from someone with Khabib in your corner because. That's what Khabib does for a hobby, is he breaks people's will. Right. So you think that'd be carrying over in his uh, his uh, group, but mm-hmm. the opposite happened. Overall, though, I think it was a real good fight. Yeah. Yeah. And what? That's what five straight wins for Duato. I think so. Um, he's on the come up. I have to check on that. I wasn't sure if it was. Um. So what about the women? I think you guys got robbed. I uh, think so. 
I think she got robbed because. So wait a minute. What, what was your what was your call yesterday before you go in? I, that she oh, was we, we win. Both say oh, you both. Say, okay. Yeah. Oh, both yeah. I mean, yeah, I think this is like a more marketable call. Again, I think this is more political because I I think she I think she did the work, but she didn't get the credit for it. And she and her last fight, she did the work. And um, and she won it, but it's like huh? she's had other fights where she's done, she's put in the work and didn't get the credit for it in the decision. So Person, personally, I, I thought it was a good call. I, I liked it. Mm-hmm. Um, I felt sure like right Eubanks didn't which... turn and turn on the aggression um, into the third round. But it's okay. I, which I, at that point it was a little too late. Thing. Unless you were going, unless you were going to get the knockout um, or submission. I was just checking to see how you're yeah. doing. It was a little too late at that point. So I did give her the, the third round, but lost round one and two. So, you know, I'll agree with that. She she didn't go. She didn't put in the extra extra oh, yeah. work that it takes to go over. You know, right? Put her over the top. O- overall, though, great great fight. By the way, I actually considered that to be fight you know, of the night. I definitely one of the fights has, of the night. I ain't gonna say yeah, fight of the night, but one of the fights of the night. Eight. One of them. But definitely gotta be able to Again, it's another one that I would like to see again. Because mm-hmm. there's like you said, there's probably about three or four fights from last night that I would like to see again. Just out of curiosity to see if the same thing happen. That's what's up, man. Okay. Yeah, um I would say uh, uh, Rova. You talk about that one? Yeah. Oh man, my opinion. <sighs> Easily fighting tonight. Who's that? Wait, Wait uh, Cara, Cara Friends versus Robot. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Fighting tonight. You like how to end it? You like how it ended? Oh, oh yeah, most definitely. That man's a beast. Yeah. And yeah. like, a, this is another one. This is another one that I went in. I mean, I know who France is, but. I don't. I didn't really know who Roy Bow was. So, coming in, coming into this, yesterday, I said friends. <laughs> what is? What was it? What was it? Mad Dog. So yeah, 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 Mad Dog. Don't blink. Don't blink. Right, right. Yeah, he he. Listen, he, he, he did his thing, man. He, yeah, right, right. He he did his thing. So he did. In, in my friends. opinion, fighting the night. Right. Yeah, I agree with that. And I yeah. think he, I think they actually did get fired at night. I'm not quite sure about that, but yeah. I can look did. that up and see. It was either yeah. them or uh, Dominic Reyes getting his ass handed to him. Oh man, yeah. Because it's like this is what I was talking about. It's like Takara, man. It's like. The fact that Brandon went through Kaikara like the way that he did, man, that doesn't. I mean, he just made it look kind of effortless. I mean, he, um, right? Did you see the? Uh, did you see the? Um, you know the um, pre, uh, like the pre-show leading up to it, and um, how he was talking. No. Nah, nah. What he, say? he just seemed like he was super well he kept talking about how people made fun of him because he's small right and um like me yes you don't <laughs> no but you know like he's just small dude and they underestimate him a lot and yeah. um he takes advantage of that like like a uh you know like he strike like a cobra like when you, when you least expect it because you underestimate him. And I thought that was pretty interesting because when you watch him in the ring, it's almost the same way. Almost like he's allowing you to, like he's in your head, making you think or, or taking your guard down. So, um, right. Yeah, he's, he's, he's someone to pay attention to, another one. Another one to pay attention to. Yo, a dope thing that happened last night, at least I thought it was dope, was uh, they actually brought back the cage interviews. So interviews oh, yeah. in the cage now. Yeah. So. Yeah. 
I don't know if that's like a thing that's gonna happen, you know, from now on, or is it only Fight Island? But you know, it's dope I, to see that. There wasn't an interview of Costa, was there? Because I don't remember seeing one. No, of? no, no. It was. I mean, oh, you mean like the post? Yeah, post like post interview. Yeah. I, I in didn't. I, I only. Well, no, not in the ring. Not in, not in the yeah. cage. No, but yeah. I, don't, I think he did the the press post uh, interview. I think he did. I might be wrong about that, but I only watched Dana's. Um, uh, Blackowicks and Izzy's. Yeah. Um. At that point, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I was knocked out. Just like this is past <laughs> one in the morning. I'm, I'm yeah. done. That's what happens when you have a bunch of fights go to decision now. Yeah. He did do the post press, I think, as well. Okay. Um. Well, yeah. Before we, because I want to save the juices for 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 that main event there. I, Let's, let's let's just I, I feel like everybody want to jump to it so let's just go ahead and talk about the uh, the light heavyweight so we can get that out the way so I, I believe you guys predicted Dominic Reyes for this yeah we both said Reyes yeah. I mean and he got destroyed <laughs> destroyed that's that Polish power he, he, oh, no. he also went to sleep power is awesome telling you he like he he did he went to sleep he, he got absolutely destroyed and it's like i don't know there was a little a, a little a little voice in my head that said uh in my head that said you know john will come back and, and and maybe do this because if you notice it's like he wasn't running i mean neither of them were running running their mouth but he was really really quiet this whole time um i was surprised at his way in because he looked in better shape than he's I don't know, probably ever been. Um, but yeah, I mean, I didn't see him getting down like that, man. I thought Reyes for sure had him. And um, that was not the case at all. Well, um, is this part of that theme that you was talking about there, Koopa, about the fights not going way as planned? Oh, yeah, most, most definitely. Um, Man, everybody getting that Tyrone, I mean, that Tyrone Woodley syndrome. Like, I don't, yeah. I don't understand it. Like, they get in, they get in, and they just, I don't know, they just lose it. And I, I, I thought he would have been a little bit more aggressive in that fight. But, like, I mean, maybe he was judging uh, uh, Jan like, like he was... John, I'm, I'm assuming, and I guess I yeah yeah I agree. I think he was just he, he was in his head, right? Um, like he was in his own head, like just thinking too much about it. And uh, yeah, I was just like, I'm gonna whoop your ass. Like, let's come on, let's do this. And he he took it to him. He so you saying him. somebody showed up for work and somebody didn't? Is that what you're saying? Mm, yeah, basically. Uh, yeah, I think someone was still playing Xbox somewhere. <laughs> uh, I think he's gonna come back though. He's gonna come back, uh, you know, a lot better. I will think he get, so. Will he go for you know get a title shot? Um, it might be some time to tell, but I think he's gonna come back with a reckoning. Yeah. I personally like Dominic Reyes, and I think he's, you know, he he could be the face of. They have the light heavyweight division. Um, personally, uh, Jan might be the only one he has to go through. <laughs> <laughs> again, and I hate to sound like a broken record, but another fight I would like to see again. Mm-hmm. Uh, see if it goes differently the second time. You know, uh, your man's got to wake up. He got to wake up. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, it wasn't, he wasn't up. looking good. <laughs> yeah, he, he definitely wasn't the dominant we were used to seeing. No. Definitely not. What was you gonna say there, Jay? Maybe maybe it's the jet lag. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's what was going on. I have no idea. Like, um, I uh, 
Oh, I was gonna say like who else need to wake up is because the, the, the person we're gonna talk about next. But, <laughs> um, yeah, well, well, why don't we just go ahead and segue into it? Go, go, go ahead and segue into it. So, pretty juicy stuff here, man. Let me just say what I got to say before you jump in. I just want to say, listen, I feel like Costa came in and he did not fight the fight he should have fought. Right? I, I felt like he wanted to prove he's a better striker and he wasn't trying to take advantage. Maybe he couldn't. Maybe maybe I'm just wrong. Maybe he just couldn't take advantage of um, Izzy's weakness, right? But it seemed like he just wanted to square up and and fight his fight. Now, I did notice that Izzy wasn't playing games, even though he was, like, he, you know, Custer was taunting and everything, but, you know, he got punished for that, in my opinion. And um, I think that he got a huge wake-up call even though I th- I know he got an ego and, this, and Costa thinks he, he can uh, certainly beat Israel. Look. And I'm not saying he couldn't, but I think he was defeated he when he underestimated um, how intelligently um, the Israel fights. Right? Um, he, he was tagging he was tagging his shin, tagging his, his lead leg on purpose to kill his power. Because that's what you do. Yeah. Huh? I said he kept leaving it out there though too. It's like, I'm, I'm not saying I'm not saying you you're wrong, but I just wanted to put it out there. In my opinion, when I was watching it, it's like he intelligently was breaking him down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, but mean, you guys I, can get in there. I, I, I just want to put it. I think Izzy said it best. Like he's he's he said he's he's always steps ahead, and I think he was just steps ahead in this fight. You know, as you said tagging that that lead leg um cutting cutting them off um and just just releasing when like the man is tech like he's the most tactical fighter that you probably would him and john jones him and john jones and 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 it's a silver of course the the best tactical fighters you can ever see in the cage like and I, i feel like um (laughs) <laughs> I think like like we like I mean listen broken record I guess Costa was not there he was not there he 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 felt like 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 I said Izzy said he wanted Izzy to be a punching bag he wanted him to just stand there right that's 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 not how Izzy fights that's not gonna happen and that's not how you're gonna beat him right you want to you want to beat him you get him on the ground that that be your, your your best time, right? You got it's with fighters like Izzy. It's the same with like Anderson Silva and John Jones. So, and this will probably be the big difference between me and Cooper is that I do not like John Jones. I never have. I never have. I will not argue with his ability. Oh, oh I can't get that from me. <laughs> I apologize. But go ahead, go ahead, uh, Jay. <laughs> but no, it's like, I, you know, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna downplay his ability. You know, um, he's a very capable fighter. But here's the thing about John Jones, right? On your hand, count to me how many six foot four, eighty five inch reach fighters there are in the UFC. Because there's only one that I know of. Right. There's only one. Okay. When you have an 85 inch reach, you can afford to stay at a certain distance, right? Um, you can afford to, like, you know, have a have a game plan that allows you to strike from from distance. So you can say, "Well, yeah, but he's a really good wrestler too." Again, when you're six foot four and you have an 85 inch reach, tell me how your sprawl is not comparable to a tripod i mean seriously it's like you have a six foot four person sprawl no one has taken that person down like you can't that that's a sprawl at that size at that you know at that span you're not no one's gonna be able to do that it's like i feel like the majority of his wins are solely based off of 
his physique and his build, right? Because there's no one else that match with that. I agree 100%. And, um, and that's why Izzy um, would be such a good match up because Izzy's got a reach of like, what, 80 or 82 inches, right? right. Um, and he's the same height. And every time that John Jones had fought someone the same height or close, he has struggled. Alexander Gustafsson, right? Uh, Dominique Reyes is like a, just a little bit shorter, right? But he actually had uh, a, a very compa- almost a comparable uh, reach. Um, what's his face? Uh, the second to last guy he fought, I can't remember his name um, at the moment, but he ended up carrying his PCL. Dominic's, uh, I'm not sure what Dominic's reach is, but Dominic is 6'4 as well. Yeah, yeah. So it's like uh, when he goes, when he fights against people the same build or similar, mm-hmm. he he does not do well. And and like I told you yesterday, I still believe he lost those two fights. Um, With Thiago you know, so, and then Alexander and, Gustafsson and uh, Dominic Reyes. Like okay. he lost those two fights. Um, John Jones, um, the first time he fought Alexander. Um, right. Uh, Dominic Reyes reaches 77 inches. Okay. 77 inches, yeah. But his height is, you know, that's what I'm saying. It's like he has a shorter reach, but his height is there. And he had a really, really high pace that John could not uh, compare to. So um, when you get to people like Izzy, and I said this yesterday, you know, Casa doesn't have a chance. And, and, and I'm a, like, like Cooper did, I, you know, I'm going to quote Izzy on something. And that was simply that Casa is dumb. I mean, he, he's dumb. <laughs> he is. Sorry. He is not a smart man. He he had a uh, he had a plan that worked for most of his other components, and I'll say all the, the uh, all of the rest of his opponents, which was, you know, be aggressive, keep moving forward, catch him in a corner, and then dirty box him and just like you know destroy him. And that worked for almost everybody except for, again, Yo Romero, because Romero's not, he's not going to have that, right? And that's all he had to do here. But the reason he couldn't is because he underestimated is his intelligence, his fight intelligence. And his fight intelligence is, yeah, I know you're going to try to come forward. I know you're going to try to box me in a corner. And so I'm going to cut every single corner that you try to press me in. And I'm going to cut away from it. And he could not close that distance. And he kept waiting for the counter punch, so he kept leaving his lead leg out there. You're fighting a six foot four dude with a kickboxing record of 52 and 0, and you're gonna leave your lead leg out there? You're gonna sit there and talk about how skinny it is, he is. You're gonna leave your lead leg out there? Of course, he chopped that thing up, man. Of course, what was he, how was he not gonna do that? He chopped his leg up like it was nothing because you gonna give me a leg? I'm gonna chop it up. And because yeah. of that, he lost a lot of power, yeah. and uh, and he oh, and yeah. he was losing stamina too because he couldn't stand yeah. his lead leg. You know, he's got to he's got to plant that for anything. He got a couple good kicks off though. I mean, kicks oh that oh oh, oh. as soon as he got rocked from that that kick from Israel, that yeah. was all downhill from there. I'm telling you, man. It's like, but Costa. I'm saying even Costa got a couple good kicks off, but like. After that, that's, that's like, all he got though. Like he, he got like, he got. I, yeah, he got those. I think it was two kicks. Mm-hmm. Uh, he got that that uh, that right rib kick, and um, I'm not sure what the other one was, but I know he got two. But that was that was it. That, so, that was so it. just 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 to uh, oh, give but, a little more so detail just, on on clarity on this. Out of 26 uh, strikes thrown, he only landed 12. Yeah. And then out of eighty four, the Israel throne, he landed fifty five. So just just the sheer, just think about that as a huge. To give the audience a picture of what this was. It was it was like he wasn't fighting, or you know. Also, you you got to keep in mind as well, strike strikes landing is also could also be fought as well. It's yeah. it's just landing. Yeah. Like he, he barely hit Izzy at all. Right. Like that's what I'm getting Izzy at. Izzy at he you missed more than there. half of the right. ones that he of all the attempts he made. He missed more than half. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Oh, 
I'm sorry. Um, only thing, this is the only thing I'll give Costa right now, and I'm going to say this just this one time, so everyone who's listening can say you know whatever or, or what. Okay, I will say this. I think on top of the counterpunch strategy, which is was idiotic versus versus Izzy, I think there was also a factor of he probably did not cut weight as well as he says he did because his whole face his whole stance my daughter's right here his whole face his whole stance his whole demeanor and that and that, that open round was you know he was charged he was hungry he was ready to go do something but he did not look completely the same as Costa did in his previous fights so I will say that there is a possibility that he had a rough weight cut and he wasn't fully recovered from that. Mm. That aside, that aside. But that's isn't that's kind of on him though. Because he knew this was coming. Yeah. 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 And I mean like I'm just saying though that that aside, they still are the one the super game plan of trying to, to wait and stand with Izzy. Like Izzy was just gonna walk up and get hit. It's it was stupid. Well, my and thing is kind of like how you point out, yo. It, not, I'm not saying I'm I'm. I mean, I took martial arts. I understand these things. But if someone's tagging my lead, I am not giving that to him. After he tagged me a couple times, I already know what he's doing. So I'm not trying yeah. to get that to him. But but for some yeah, odd yeah. reason, this man did not learn, and he just let him have it. Was just he's, he's dumb. <laughs> he wanted full Mike Tyson, man. He wanted full Mike Tyson, and he just wanted to knock out. And that's the dumbest thing you can do against a diversity. Yeah. Player. Oh, he was. His he was definitely in his head. Yeah. Without a doubt. One hundred percent. So I wait. I got a question, a little sideline question. Um, how do you guys feel about what Izzy said about the purse? Um, not, not. Um, uh, All that ninety percent. Yeah, ninety percent. Uh, if you if you don't catch weight, how do you guys feel about that? I mean, I I agree, I agree, and and the reason I agree is let's let's just say this like when I when I fought my fight weight was uh, was one eighty, okay, and I didn't fight professionally and you know in the UFC or anything like this but we would do like group sparring and we would simulate you know going to uh, fights and so we would cut weight and everything um these guys have full camps you know unless they're unless they're brought in as an alternative these guys have full camps full strategies everything you know they got nutritionists they got, they got I mean they got a full everything. promotion right? yeah they got a Full promotion, man. Like they are taking care of. If you can't get your person down to weight to make weight, come the day or the night before of the fight, that is your fault. And yeah, I agree. You're, gonna, you're gonna feel it. You're gonna feel that pain. You know, like like mm-hmm. Don Cheeto and Captain America, right? Or uh, not Captain America, Captain Planet, right? Human tree. Um, but like. You know they're gonna feel that pain take 90 percent of that purse it's like they're gonna know never to do that again you know or at least take it more seriously or put in the extra work or something right. but, i mean to uh, to lead off of what you just yeah. kind of said it's kind of like this that's they got one job got one job you know and, yeah. and at the end of the day you know you failing your fighter because that's, you, you only got one job and, and everybody does the same thing. So I feel like I can't, I agree with you. Like it's no excuse. And no excuse. It's, it's just like if any, if any regular person had the same kind of coaches and strict uh, diet, exercise, everything routine, I'm sure anybody would jump on there if they got it um, so- given to them for their promotion. But literally, they're getting paid to have this, and and um, in my mind, it's in my mind, it's 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 either you not like you said not taking it serious and and or you being lazy, one of the two. But either way, you're failing your fight. Like 
and 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 in the, in the, in the end, it's gonna cost you money. So would you would you say there should be stipulations though, as far as how long uh, did you get notice for the fight? They get enough uh, yeah. notice though, don't they? they get, I mean, some no, some people it's get, enough for like some alternates. Oh, right. okay, okay. Yeah, for alternates, yeah, there should be stipulations. So it's like if you're taking this fight on a very short notice. Then yeah, there should be a stipulation that, all right, yeah, okay, if he if if you don't make weight, you know, um, depending on again how short notice. If like if the, if we're talking like two days, all right, <laughs> you don't well, make, no. <laughs> you know, because people get injured, you know. I'm just yeah, saying, yeah, like, yeah, that's true. If you, if we're talking like but, a week, but but even know? those fighters though, aren't they? They're told ahead of time, right? Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're they're brought in as backup fighters. Like yeah. they're they're supposed to be training and everything for for that fight. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's a mess, man. I mean I remember you remember when like Anthony Rumble Johnson was like cutting like forty pounds to make welterweight in the beginning right. before she was the like light heavyweight. You know, welterweight. Rumble Johnson was fighting right. welterweight. <laughs> right. It's insane. Like he looked like he looked like a piece of beef jerky, man. Like every, <laughs> every, every you know, it looked like some <laughs> what's that? <laughs> like a big piece of jack wings, you know. And then like he would pass out, or he would just be like zapped the energy, or he would miss weight. And it's like, yeah, man, stop trying to cut forty pounds. Why don't you like go to light heavyweight or something? You know, um, you never saw Anderson Silva. Miss weight, right? And like, hey, have you know, you know, Anderson know. was a machine, man. Yeah, he made weight every single time. When Izzy showed up two days ago and got on that scale with uh, with his socks and shorts and his headphones on and his mask and everything else, and Costa was getting on there like just in shorts, like trying to make weight, and Izzy came up a pound underweight. Come on, man! It's really. 184 on the scale, and he's got like half of his outfit on. Like he came prepared. Right. <laughs> right. I mean, <clears throat> I agree with everything said. Uh, I just feel like 90% is definitely harsh. 90%. Yeah. I I do think they should up it, because right now it's at 30, right? Yeah. At least push it to like maybe 50. You could take half, but 90 is kind of I don't know. That's kind of I mean, stuff happens. Like, have you guys ever, have you guys watched that show Empire? I've seen it. Uh, I've seen no, it. No, not, I'm sorry, I know. not Empire. Not, not Empire. It's, it's, uh, it's, I forgot what it's called, but it's a, it's an MMA show that's, that's on Netflix. It's not oh, called man. Empire. It's called something else. I was going to say, uh, like, Terrence, Terrence, I never fought. No, no, no. no. <laughs> but they actually show the process of actually cutting. And oh yeah, it's yo that that's some it's scary looking stuff. I'm gonna be honest it's, with you. Is it called Kingdom? Brutal, man. Kingdom, yes, Kingdom, yes. Kingdom? That's what it's called. It's brutal, great man. show, by the way. Yeah. So, so I feel like I mean, in in certain situations, um, and you can't you can't take everything case by case, right? Everybody uh, has to be um, has to go through the same thing. So. Um, I don't know, like, 90% is definitely kind of harsh. And like he said, though, but like Izzy said, there are quote-unquote gangsters out there that do, you know, they, they would miss weight just so they can destroy you at their normal or destroy you, yeah. uh, you know, five pounds over, something like that. Yeah. But, you know, but I, like I said, I just feel like 90 is a little harsh. I would go 50. But, I mean, something it's a definitely tough needs to be it's a tough it's a tough pill to swallow when you put in so much work and for all this time and, and everything but yeah. to me and, and i and i'm gonna i'm gonna put it out there right now because i do hate it because it makes me sound like some kind of like capitalistic like republican or something like that but it's like you 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 put in the work and so you should come prepared like every single time no excuses no excuses um, because it messes everything else up, you know. It's like 
you know what to expect. Now, 90%, I feel like the stipulation should be like, you do it once, you do it the first time, 90%, or you do it once, maybe 50%. If it happens again, 90%. If it happens the third time, you're out. You know? Because... Oh, I agree. You know, it should be in a structure like that. 50, 90, you're fired. Right. I, I, I can see that. That works. I mean, and, and at the end of the day, if it's such a problem catching the weight, then fight in, fight in a, a, a higher weight class. Or yeah. something like that, you know. You, you have options. Well, I mean, but options. they they register themselves in a certain weight class, so they committing to it. That's that's their commitment. Yeah. So yeah, that's true. It's it's like you can't just you know change your mind at the last minute. You you got to commit to whatever you you already <laughs> signed up for. Like you're just gonna have to lose <laughs> those bags, man. <laughs> it's just what until it is you, until you get a new contract. You just right. Have to, <laughs> right, yeah, so you, you gotta do something, man. It's like I know it's like you you hear about so many people and so many athletes that invest in things for themselves, to, you know, because your business is your body. Your body is your business, right? So I got a, I got a chat. I got a chat here. He's asking a question, guys. He says the F was Costa doing the whole fight. Way too easy for Izzy. Daddy on the phone call. Just uh. It was a letdown. Watch Coast the fight, please. So, uh, X Fierce. Is that, is that play? Yeah. Yeah, X Fierce play. So, my question to you is Were you a Costa fan or an Izzy fan? There's no wrong answer. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to give you a perspective, right? Because I mean, if you're getting in here later behind, I mean, Costa came in with the wrong strategy. Honestly, I feel like he, I feel like they were going to do his normal strategy coming in before, but they probably changed it last minute to try to bait Israel, and it's like the stupidest thing. It's like, it's how do you bait someone who's a diverse striker like Israel? It's like you don't. You don't do that, so um, it's almost like they changed their strategy at the last minute to me. So, or, so I kind of want to say, kind of repeat what you, what I said earlier is he didn't do what I would have done if it was me. Yeah, uh, and if it was me, I would have fought Izzy where I felt like he was weak, and that's on the ground. Yeah, I would have definitely tried to get him on the ground and take him there because, in my opinion. Izzy is a good striker. He is intelligent striker, and like you said yesterday, he he has the precision. So you don't want to risk losing a bout to someone who may, unless your ego's in the way. Like if if I just want the dub, I'm going to work on their weakness, right, and, and go from there. That's just my 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 plan. Uh, that's just opinion. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree. So how, how do you guys feel about um, Izzy calling out uh, Jared Cannonier, Uh if he beats Whitaker? One, one, I mean, one wait, let me say, I will, do you think he's going to beat Whitaker? One. And two, how do you think that fight will go with uh, Adesanya? Uh, I think it will be an absolute brawl uh, with Whitaker. And it could go either way. Um, if Whitaker comes hungry, like like old Whitaker, I don't know. I kind of I, I would I would go with Robert. Um, Jared is a machine, man. He's an absolute mm-hmm. machine. Um, but I don't know, man. I, I haven't seen him go like just I don't know, like full crazy like Whitaker, you know. So it's almost I feel like he's always been holding back. You know? Okay. So but it's I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't like what I'm gonna be honest. I don't, I don't like I, I look at him the same way I look at Costa. Like I he, feel like they are one and the same. So not to interrupt you, uh, he responded and said all that talk and had the worst performance. 
he expected better. He, I guess I mean, he expected better. Any anything could happen in the cage, man. Anything can happen. Yeah, and I don't know, man. It's like if unless you're new to the sport, I mean, a lot of them talk, but <laughs> once, yeah. once the door shuts, once the door shuts, I gotta back it up, you know. Um, it's kind of like you know when I used to bounce over here on Main Street, you know, I get all the Abercrombie zombies, and they all want to talk. And they yeah, all Abercrombie talk. zombies, I like <laughs> <You> that. <know? laughs> and that's what Costa was to me. He was a big old, he was a big old pretty boy with a lot of muscles. And America mm-hmm. liked. And I said this yesterday. America liked everything big. They like the truck big. They like the burgers big. They like the muscles big. And bigger is better. To most Americans, <laughs> he said, "Good way of putting it." But the problem with that is, it's it's fake news, right? It's not real. Like strength is nothing. Power is nothing without control. How many, how many, how many legends have said that, right? Like Bruce Lee. Like Bruce Lee, right? I mean, and it goes across the board. And it's it's applicable to so many things. It's like, I, you know, I'm a car guy, and if I mod my car. Before I put any power on it, what am I going to do first? I'm going to button down my chassis. Because what's the point of me putting 500 horses in my car if I can't control it? Right? It's it's all about precision and control. And Costa has... He has has some precision, but he doesn't have precision on the level of busy. At all. And, you know, I don't like to call people dumb, but he's dumb. (laughs) He is dumb. He is dumb. (laughs) He's he's just a bag of muscle. <laughs> Y'all gonna stop case. picking on that man. Hey, so let me ask you a question. Where do you where do you want uh Costa to go now? Till Till what is he with Till? Give him Till give him I think give him the winner of uh of uh ah, nah, that would create kind of like a circle, but it's like I I'd like to see him fight Jared, man, or Whitaker. Really? There's, you know, like like I said yesterday, it's like there's so many fighters, good fighters that he got to skip. Yeah, so, so I put him uh, through. I'm there. sorry, I don't, I don't mean to cut you off. I apologize, but um, but yeah, allegedly he only fought uh, two in the top fifteen. That's right. I'm telling he you, he only fought two fighters <laughs> in the top fifteen. Yo, this I don't like him, man. Get, get it out of here. <laughs> Who <laughs> this man? Who this man? Right? I'm telling you, it's, that's why that's why I hate Connor so much. It's like he and and Ronda Rousey. It's like they they take the people who they who they think are the most marketable, right? Cash grabs. And you know they they put everything behind him, man. And and they make you know, Chael Sonnen was to me like the biggest example of that starting out right he literally talked his way into title contention and before that i mean there was maybe like one or two other people who had, who had done that the way that he did it but he was such a loud mouth and i mean it was like a it was just a full campaign and even when he lost he talked his way into contention again just because he he convinced people that he actually won that fight and that he didn't tap out, even though it literally showed in the video, yeah, dude, look, that's your hand tapping out. And people were just in disbelief as much as he was. And then, you know, what happened when he went back? Well, reality kicked in. So yeah. so does that mean that you're, you guys all, what I hear, at least this is what I hear, that maybe Costa just didn't have enough experience to be even in the ring with Israel at this time? <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I think he has the experience. I just don't believe yeah. he has he's. The skill. I I just feel like he still hasn't proven himself. He has the experience, yeah. but he <laughs> there's a there's a there's a few other fighters that I feel like can you know you know and 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 uh, Jared's one of them and Till is one of them. So I feel like yeah. he should you know he should kind of humble himself and go back just go back to the drawing board and kind of do it the right way you know what i mean like go through the ranks like you're supposed to do it yeah i agree and i know nobody wants to hear this but i, I would i would really like to see is he fight romero for real <laughs> yeah, fight again for real that's never gonna happen but dana's not gonna let that happen yeah so. 
since Dana won't let that happen, um, I'd like to see Jared. I hate to see fights happen again. Um, you know, I hate to see rematches like so so close, but um, I would like to see uh, Jared fight him or Till. I want to see I want to see Till fight him just because I want to see Till get lit up because. <laughs> like when Woodley man handled him, dude, I laughed. So Till is definitely a shit talker. Yeah, so. he loved it. Well, listen here, guys, we got to wrap up this show. I, I, thanks for coming through and watching. Uh, we will be back to do this again. I, get, I think the fellas love this this platform, and we're gonna be bigger and better, and ready to take on more of these fights and predictions to go forward. Listen, Cooper, tell the tell the people where can they find you. Oh, okay. You can find me on Instagram at Respect the Logo and on Twitter at Respect the Logo as well. Before we go, though, I want to say one thing though. Yeah, what's shout up? out to my favorite fighter, Amanda Nunes. <laughs> this man got a crush. Wife, he got her beautiful wife, Nina Ansaroff, on their announcement of the birth of their baby girl. So shout out to them. This man got crushes, man. Let me tell you. Not a crush. He's a, she's an awesome fighter. Man. No, you do got a crush. Stop lying to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I will say this though. Look, Amanda Nunez is an awesome fighter, but I do still think she's very, very beatable. <laughs> she is. She, she, she's one of. Just like we said about uh, Adesanya, she knows how to play the game. She, she knows does. for a fact, JDR. I mean, um, GDR would kill her on the mm-hmm. feet Jermaine would destroy her on the feet so yeah. she you know she played her game like listen we gonna wrestle I know you don't yeah. know how to wrestle so we gonna wrestle we're gonna wrestle <laughs> I wanna see the fight fight Valentina again that's oh yeah that, that'll be good that'll be good that's gonna be that's the fight I, I, I think see. I think that's gonna happen that's probably gonna be the fight that once she's done with that I think she's gonna be uh, I think she's gonna be done I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah. I think we'll see what's that. Well, good yeah. stuff, man. Uh, Jay, where can they find you at? In another cave? <laughs> the Middle East? No, I mean, usually, you know, when I'm not in my cave, you know, I got a secret base on the moon. I chill out uh, and, um, you know, uh, have some have some friends over every now and then. But, you know. Dr. Manhattan? Dr. Manhattan. <laughs> no. You know, I chill out. I, I I roll like a Bond villain, so you know I'm present and not. So yeah, that's what y'all can find. Awesome. Well, thanks guys. You can always find me out at PKX Live on Twitter and PK Entertainment on my YouTube channel and here on on Twitch at PKX underscore Live. You guys have a good one and see you next time. Later.